Hey everybody, this is PB Solidus 2 with the second video of the Secret Ponchos. This time uh, I've been playing a little bit with Kid Red, and uh, I consider Kid Red the dictator of uh, Secret Ponchos. And in this video, I'll explain why to go over his kit and um, strategies I've used that with him that seem to be very potent and really good for one uh, one on one situations and uh, sometimes multiple situations. In certain occasions, uh, I can I can get out a good two or a triple kill with him. But um, and yeah, let's just get in here and go into practice. Uh, similar to the last video, I'll go over his damage compared to other players. Um, I'll go over my stats right now. Not my stats, my build on him. Once I go to oh, it started. But pretty much, I stacked on a lot of power. Kid Red doesn't have a lot of power in his kit, but he has. But that makes up with speed and um, the dynamic play style of him and his weapons. So right now, we're gonna go over his weapon kit and then i'll go into how i use it so first we have our revolvers it's a six shooter um two six shooters and that can also be transformed into uh two six shooters that are a shotgun that cause knockdown um this is like the best part of his kit i would say uh it opens up it's, it's a it, it opens up for a lot of uh movement for what i mentioned earlier his dictatorship um so just to go over the mechanics of that, I'll go into that a little bit later after I talk about Dynamite. Dynamite is his second piece of kit. It does not have an alternate, but what it does do is that you can throw it in 360 direction and you can cook it. By cooking, I mean you can hold it and it eventually explodes at a shorter distance uh, timer. You just, you're cooking the timer. All right, so let's talk about these revolvers. This is the shotgun form I mentioned. Now the shotgun form only reloads into tit. Don't know why that is, don't really care, but the shotgun form can only reload into 10. The, the six shooters can reload into 12, and they shoot freely of each other. Whereas the shotguns do a concentrated blast in that direction. All right, um, those are the weapons. I'll go into how I use them, uh, starting with like the, the, the revolvers. So, Kid Red here, um, is a character that has high mobility so me chasing around him around with the six shooters is really difficult it's viable um you can definitely get the damage you want out of it but uh i've always felt that slowing somebody down with the shotgun switching with the shoulder button and then going straight into the shooting is the most viable uh kid red combo uh, that i've seen because it works on pretty much fortitude of all the cast so here we have a uh, Phantom Poncho switch. Like this kid is all damage, no no fluff. All damage, no fluff. That's Kid Red, the dictator. All right, that was on Phantom Ponchos. Now the deserter has a lot of health. This combo doesn't really work too well on him, but there's other ways to get around him with it. So yeah, that's where my combo leaves him as I finish them off, but I'm pretty sure if you free-for-all shoot... Oh my goodness, this is so much health. I'm not 100% sure if he can absorb all 12 shots or not without the stun, so we're going to try that now too. Yeah, so his health is always going to be like that. He can't... He takes... He takes 14 shots, that's just what it is. Alright, last person we want to do it do our combo on is the killer, who is located over here. How's it going, the killer? So, like I said, stun, swap. Oops, didn't finish him. There you go. So, <clears throat> as you guys can see, that combo works on pretty much the whole cast besides the deserter. And that's something that I see uh, a huge thing, especially going into um, the when it was the four-player or eight-player free-for-all, is that you want something to get in and out, kill a person, and get out. Because the more you stay there, the, the longer it's going to be. And the longer you're going to be there, that means the more people are going to come to your uh, your fight and the less chance of you closing that kill. There's been a lot of times with the killer where I haven't been able to close a kill because I, I already fear that somebody's coming and I'm probably reloading my three shots and I'm probably going to miss two out of three. So I have to disengage. That person then reads the stats of, you know, reads who has the most health and chases the lower health character, kills him and takes the kill. I mean, that's a legitimate strategy and something to do. It's just that uh, I can see the kid with Kid Red. That doesn't happen too much, but, um, Back into what I was saying, how I used his kit. Uh, next is the grenades. Now his grenades uh, dictate whatever you're going to do. If you want to go for health, 
which is over here, and I know you want to go for health, you're getting dynamite on it. If you want invincibility, and I know you're heading invincibility from the right side, you're getting you're getting grenade. I'm getting this. This is now mine. Um, if there's a team fight or a group fight, and I'm not a part of it, well, guess who's coming to dinner? Dynamite, because I'm Kid Red. So his his dynamite is the best crowd control, uh, forceful action in the game that I can see it. Uh, Phantom Poncho's whip, when it's in its uh, strongest form, I can see being dictatorship, but I can see that only being it for 1v1. This works in all sorts on all occasions. My favorite way to use it is um, I play a lot of aggressive uh, Phantom Ponchos, and if Phantom Poncho is chasing me, I just drop this behind me and just go about my business. Now, if I hear that click and I know that I hit him, it's most likely that he's going to be going for health, and that's where the dictatorship comes in again. But that being said, Dynamite... Uh, if there's a fight and it's across the map and you know that you need to get to it, dynamite it and then run. Dynamite it and then run. Because that, in my opinion, that's the best way to do it. What's the worst that can happen? You miss and then you make them go a different way? Uh, that's not that bad. The best thing that can happen is that you drop it between two people with low health and you get an easy kill without even doing anything. But um, that's that, that's um, the dynamite, how I use it tip chicks and uh just go over like little strats with him uh kid red is high mobility keep the mobility there uh he has he already has four dashes so like the killer you don't really rely too much on your dashes but damage uh every character you know i say you know you should have damage but with kid red speed and damage are monumental um with damage i'm pretty sure i can clean him up let's see how i'm gonna do the deserter yeah, Deserter, Deserter can't handle. Now the thing about this is, is that since he has high mobility, this damage is ridiculous because the more you put on the boots with the damage, the faster, the more, you just open so many more options for your character with speed. It's, it's, it's really devastating, this character with speed. We're back in, it's, it's really good. Um, and I would say uh, health, health is a major thing. So when setting him up, Make sure once you get damage, you definitely stack some health in there. He's very, he's a very, uh, he's glass canny, glass cannonish, but he's definitely worthwhile. Um, so that really concludes the tips, tricks, and strats with Kid Red. Um, like I said, remember, uh, if the fight's going on without you, make sure that you, you, you definitely invite yourself with dynamite that's your calling card uh if you're being chased and you know you need help or you know players being too aggressive cook it drop it go about your business uh best combo i've seen on hand is the stun to free for all i guess we'll call it the stunning gun so we hit them with our stun and then we go into our guns and remember that our free our, our free for all uh style the two singles they reload 12 and um the shotgun can only reload 10. Shotgun can only reload 10. That's as high as it goes. So if you always want your 12 shots, always keep that available. You always want 12 shots in the gun at all times. And that concludes it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure you hit that follow, like, uh, subscribe on all of our medias, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, so on and so forth. It's been awesome. You guys have a great one.